Thank you for flying Mod Aviation 12, your pilot of the virtual skies. Today I have my first unboxing video, which is uh, supposed to be two NG models, so we will find out here. I've been waiting on these forever. Let's see. So here's the box it came in. It just came in today. All I did was uh, just cut the sides and barely cut the. Uh, the top tape so you can see that it is a first unboxing so let's see it looks like both of them are in there which is great yep awesome so let's take a look at these sorry if the airport is a little bit of a mess i'm still working on the ground foil for it oh i can't wait to open these i'm so excited i'm gonna put that back here so it blocks most of the airport so it's not too messy so here are the two models that I got. So I got the uh, Spirit A321 and then the American A321, both with sharklets. I've been needing the Spirit one for a long time. And this is the one that is replacing my Stand Up to Cancer, which look out tomorrow for a video of a comparison between the NG models and the Aero Classics models. I'm going to do a comparison tomorrow. I've just got to dig the box out. So I love how NG packs their models. It's, I mean, they, they, they feel secure instead of having plastic on top and bottom like most do. This one also has a piece of cardboard to keep things secure. As you can see, it's got the plastic lay over the top. Oh, move, move it back up. So far, it's looking really good. I'm kind of tempted to get the uh, Gemini Jets one just to uh, compare. All right, so here is the plastic that it comes in. All right, so Spirit Airlines, oh, there we go. It is in the older yellow livery because it's got the uh, the scratches in the uh, the livery and it says Bear Fair on there. But overall, beautiful model. Why do I keep moving above the camera? There you go. Let's see if I can get up close here. You can see the nose gear. That's what I love about NG models is the nose gear is really well done. Same with the mains. They look really well. And I love the rolling gear. I know you're not supposed to roll them around, but when you got shaky hands like me, it makes it easier to roll it up to the, like, set it down and roll it up to the line. That's the reason I like the rolling gear. Plus, it just adds something to the airplane. I know a lot of people don't care, but I, I kind of like that. So you can see the tail number right there, if I can get to focus, is uh, 681 November Kilo. I have definitely worked this airplane multiple times when I was at DFW. It's got the stand hole, it's got the antennas, which are a great feature. So I'm going to go ahead and place that right there. Next up is my American A321, also by NG Models. You can see uh, this one has the Wi-Fi dome on top of it. It'll focus again. There it is. I don't know in real life if uh, the Spirit 321s have the Wi-Fi Dome or not, but on the model it does not. You would think I would know that. Why do I keep bringing it below the camera? All right, um, so American Airlines A321, beautiful model. Um, this will show in the comparison model to, or the comparison of the models tomorrow, because I'm gonna compare the Aero Classics, and the Aero Classics does not have the Wi-Fi Dome. But uh, overall, great model. You can see inside the engines there. When I get to focus, come on. Not one to focus. There it is. Oh, for a split second there. Try to get some close-up shots of it. Uh, leave a comment if you want to see any other parts of the model. This is basically just a demonstration. Maybe you're on the on on the fence of getting one or not. It has uh, the A321 written under the nose. I believe the spirit the spirit does not. But it does have uh, A321 written under the nose. Got the stand hole once again. The, the antennas, again, are 
correctly placed. I keep going below the camera. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> but landing gear, awesome. Antennas, correctly placed. I mean, this is a, these these are great models. I I I love NG models, and anytime they release something, I'm never disappointed in what it looks like. Now I do only right now collect one four hundred scale. And eventually, I want to get to one two hundred scale. So I'd love to see how those look, and especially get some of their Falcons that they have. But those are my two A three twenty ones. Like I said, uh, look tomorrow for a video of the comparison between NG models. I'm gonna go ahead and compare NG Gemini jets and Aero Classics. I do not have a Gemini jets with sharklets, but I do have. Um, the one without sharklets right back here. So uh, look for that video. I will be doing a comparison tomorrow. So I hope you guys will join in for that. Uh, thanks for joining in. Hope you like what you saw. If you like what you saw in the models, I would honestly give these a 10 out of 10 recommendation. So good job, NG models. Um, so like I said, look forward to a comparison video tomorrow. Hope you liked the video. Remember to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Model Aviation 12. Follow me on Instagram, which is also Model Aviation 12, and Model Aviation 12 on Twitch. I'll be doing some live streams with uh, Flight Simulator 10. I do not have 20 anymore, as you know, so um, I will be doing some more stuff on Flight Sim 10. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me, and remember, geek out, geek out aviators. Bye-bye.